MPF, do you know that your body was designed to be the temple of the Holy Spirit, who is the third part of the Trinity? You see, there's God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit, who is our comforter to go with us every day of our life as we live for God. Now, Professor Whoopi is going to come back in just a few to share more with you about this lesson today. So I will see you at the end today as we wrap things up. Bye-bye. Start to one, boost your ignition, and lift off of the space shuttle Discovery, returning to the space station, paving the way for future missions beyond. Professor Whoopi, and I'm here to whoopie up a big one for you. Whoa, that's right. Hey, today we are going to talk about offering our bodies as a living sacrifice to God. Now, taking care of our bodies is not about vanity. That's what the TV and the magazines and Facebook and all of the other media wants to tell you that it is about vanity, but it's not. You see, we take care of our bodies because it's in God's Word. The Bible says that we are to offer our bodies as a living sacrifice to God. Now, in the Bible, it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 and 20, Haven't you yet learned that your body is the home of the Holy Spirit God gave you, and that He lives within you? Your body does not belong to you. For God has bought you with a great price. So use every part of your body to give glory back to God because He owns it. And that's in the Living Bible in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 and 20. Whoa. Now, of course, this human body that we have is not 
built to last forever. They eventually will wear out and they are a temporary structure that houses our soul and God's Holy Spirit. See, our bodies are a stewardship from the Lord, a gift from above. Interesting facts about our bodies, listen up. Our bodies are indeed amazing creations. Your nose has the capability of remembering 50,000 different scents. Can you imagine that? I can't even count that high. Okay, now your taste buds are replaced every 10 days and your body sheds about 600,000 particles of skin every hour. Can you imagine 600,000 particles of skin you are leaving behind somewhere? Somewhere somebody will find your DNA and know it's you. Aha! So be careful what you do. Just kidding. All right, let me move on here. And then it says here that there are 100,000 miles of blood vessels in a human adult body. Can you imagine that? Oh, and one final note, at least for this part. Our ears and nose never stop growing. You ever wonder why somebody has like a big nose? That's because it never stopped growing. While awake, the human brain produces enough electricity to power a light bulb. Human bones are an ounce for ounce stronger than steel. Though they are composed of 31% water. Now, here's some more facts. The human eye can distinguish about 10 million different colors. And if our DNA was uncoiled, all of the cells in our DNA body would stretch the length of 10 billion miles. Now I want that to sink in, 10 billion miles. Whoa. Now, let me move on with some more facts. Your brain uses 20% of the total oxygen and blood in your body in a lifetime. Your brain's long-term memory can hold as many as one quadrillion or one million billion separate bits of information. Do you begin to understand just how complex God made us? Well, I've got a few more facts here, so hang on with me. Your heart will pump nearly 1.5 million barrels of blood during your lifetime enough to fill 200 train tank cars. Ooh, that's a lot of train there. I don't know about you. Now, when you take one step, you are using 200 muscles there. And there are over 650 named skeletal muscles in the human body. Some figures suggest as many as 840. Yes, and I say yes, 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 yes. Your body is an amazing organism. It was made and belongs to God. Therefore, take care of it and use it for God's purposes. Now, in segment two, we will talk about what it means to be bought with a price. The Temple of the Holy Spirit Our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Our bodies are amazing creations. Your nose has the capability of remembering 50,000 different scents. And your taste buds are replaced every 10 days. Wow. That's really interesting. And what's even more is that our ears and nose never stop growing. There are also 100,000 miles of blood vessels in an adult human body. And if that isn't amazing, how about this? That the human bones per ounce are stronger than the toughest steel on planet Earth. Your body sheds 
about 600,000 particles of skin every hour. While awake, the human brain produces enough electricity to power a light bulb. And your brain also uses 20% of the total oxygen and blood in your body. Now in a lifetime, your brain, long-term memory, can hold as many as one quad quadrillion or one million bits of separate information, all neatly and filed away. The human eye can distinguish about 10 million different colors. If it was humanly possible to uncoil our DNA in all the cells in your body, it would stretch approximately 10 billion miles. Your heart will nearly pump 1.5 millions of barrels of blood during your lifetime, enough to fill 200 train tank trucks. Can you imagine that? When you take one step, you are using 200 muscles. There are over 650 named skeletal muscles in the human body, but some figures also suggest as many as 840. The price that Jesus bought us was his blood that was shed on the cross for us, and because of that, we ha can have forgiveness of our sins. When God forgives us, He forgets everything we've ever done, and He will not bring it up again or throw it into our face. He puts it, according to the Bible, in the sea of His forgetfulness, in the depth of the sea. Yes, your body is an amazing organism. It was made and belongs to God. Therefore, take care of it and use it for God's purposes. Now in this part, we will be looking at being bought with a price. Now what does that mean? Well, simply that we were bought with a price. We were bought from sin, redeemed by the blood of Christ. So when we speak of redemption, it is refreshing to this legal deal of purchasing us from slavery to sin so that we can be adopted as children of God, no longer slaves to sin and no longer to the hold of the devil that he had on us. Now in the book of John chapter 8 and verse 34 it says, Jesus said that everyone who sins is a slave to sin. So when we ask Jesus in our heart and ask him to forgive us of our sins, we become clean before God. Because of what Jesus did on the cross when he died for our sins. So, I'm glad you asked this next question. What is the work of the blood of Jesus? It was the blood of Jesus that paid for your sin. It paid for the sin of the whole world, not just yours, but every single person. His blood washed away the sin that spoiled you and your life and kept you separated from God and on the way to the very bad place. Now. Here are a couple more verses of what Jesus did for us. In the book of 1 John chapter 1 and verse 7, it says, But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus his Son cleanses us from all sin. Another verse is found in Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 17. And then he adds, 
I will remember their sins and lawless deeds no more. So not only does he forgive us, but he puts it into a sea of forgetfulness. Micah chapter 7 verse 19. Once again you will have compassion on us. You will tread our sins beneath your feet and you will throw them into the depths of the ocean. Now, I want you to understand that when God forgives, he forgets. And that's we everything that we ever did. He will never bring it up again or throw it into our face and accuse us of that sin. But I want you to understand that the devil, who is referred to as the father of lies, he is also referred to as the accuser of the brethren. He is the one. He is the one who will never let you forget the sin and the wrong things that you have done. Matter of fact, he will torment you with them every chance he gets, just like the bullies that never leave you alone. But listen, with Jesus, you are forgiven and clean. So that is why it is so important that we know that our bodies are his temple and we belong to him because of all of the things that he has created us with and he bought us with the price of his own blood on the cross. All right, I just want to say that this is Professor Whoopi. It's been great to have been with you today, but it's time to go. So it's time to say goodbye, arrivederci, hasta la vega, hasta la viga, uh, hula hula. <laughs> Can't think of anything else, but oh, one last thing. Haruba boo. <laughs> Oh, that was so good. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so don't forget that God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit love you. And this is Professor Whoopi. So do I. Goodbye. Hello, everybody. Hey, come on in. Take a seat. Don't worry about it being dark in here. We're going to watch a quick film this morning. Yes. It talks about a little bit of what we really are. So, let me cover just a couple of things. Do you know that your nose has the capability of remembering 50,000 different scents? Your taste buds are replaced every 10 days, and your body sheds about 600,000 particles of skin every hour. Ha! That puts a whole new definition on A. Don't leave your DNA behind. Ha! <laughs> Okay, so let's move on. There are also 100,000 miles of blood vessels in the adult human body. And the one of my favorite ones is that your ears and nose never stop growing. Ha! Huh. All right. Well, anyways, let me get to the point of the DNA, which you see right here before us. Our DNA, if you could stretch out every one of those cells that are there and there are many 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 more that we don't even see in in the picture it would stretch out a total of 10 billion miles in a straight line now can you understand how god created us to be so unique we were not just thrown together but we were created to be the most perfect of his creation and you know what our brains are still capable of doing more than the more supercomputers of the world because God created us that way and man has not been able to come close yet. Ha! All right, everyone, all of the facts that we talked about in class and even just the last few will be on the test, okay? So you've got to remember them. Will these be on the test? Every single detail that I shared with you today will be there. All right? Oh, for joy. I love details, Professor Whoopi. Good, Penny. I love to share about God and how he made us. Yes, Professor, this has been awesome to see how much God cares for us. Well, class, I will see you tomorrow for the test. Have a great day. And the lounge here will be open for you to be able to come and study because all the information is here and it's easier to come and study here. 
Okay, see you tomorrow, class. Well, kids, what have you learned in class today? We learned all about what it means when we offer our bodies as a living sacrifice to God. We also learned about interesting facts on how God created us. Also, how unique we are in our DNA makeup. We have 100,000 miles of blood vessels, if it was strecked out in a straight line. Well kids, I see you all learned a lot from Professor Whoopi today. Yep we did, test is tomorrow. So I'm going to get studying after supper. Supper will be done in 10 minutes so go get cleaned up. I trust everyone had a great day, and I've got great news. What's the news, John? Donna and I got the navigation system repaired and we know where we are at. Great news. We are quite a ways from Alpha and Omega system. But the good news is, I will say it, we're only 15 light years from there. But before we can do this, John and I want you to see what we found, here in this solar system. While the family and crew, was seeing all the different formations, of planets and star nebulas, they were at all of God's creation, and all of the beauty, that they could see in this system, in which they were in. God indeed made us unique, and we are his work of art. One of a kind. Remember. When God made you, he broke the mold. See you all next week for another space adventure. Well, I'm glad to be back online. Now that the drive is fixed and working properly. I have missed you guys. Mr. Robbins has brought me up to speed on what's been happening. So, now that I am fully functional, I will begin to plot our journey to Alpha Omega. It is 15 light years away, but with the new drive, and placing the crew in cryo sleep, we should get there in about 25 years. Yet to the crew it would be like being there the next day. The great thing is, they will not age at all during this time. I also have secured two extra backups on my system in the event of problems in our travels. Our departure date will be in three weeks. At this time all computer functions are running great and awesome. This concludes my report for the day. This has been an OJO production. Thank you very much.